Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. The case that I'm going to be looking into today is another missing persons case of a man called John Terry. Now, this is a case again that is just a dude vanished off the face of the earth and nobody knows what happened to him. And I didn't mean like any disrespect by saying that he is a father you know he he has a family out there and they would absolutely love to know what happened to it so let's just jump into this case john christopher terry went missing when he was 30 years old he was the single father of two children and he was a very well liked man he was very kind people absolutely loved him it was said that they he didn't have any enemies whatsoever and when police went looking into this they couldn't find any evidence as to anybody like wanting to harm him or anything like that he had two sons with his ex-partner who he absolutely adored they i believe he had custody of them but they shared it as well like they although they mainly lived with him you know they would also go and live with the mom for the weekends and things like that she also had another partner you know they they shared custody there wasn't any animosity between them whatsoever he got on with her partner by all accounts as well and he just adored his sons like they meant the world to him john worked as a mechanic and was described as such a hard-working guy you know anything you wanted you asked of him you would do it without complaint you just was a really good employee um, and a hard worker he had a cabin in texas which was his dad's i believe which is that's what he lived in on his father's land i think and everything was just going really well for john this was until the 17th of october in 2014. now that weekend the children were with their mother earlier on um she had actually i think she was called pamela might be wrong with that sorry if i am can't remember her name anyway earlier on she and her partner had gone down to john's work um where they picked up like the overnight bag for the children apparently him and john he didn't get out of the car but he waved it at john at some point you know and they shared pleasantries with each other and then they left and it was the plan that they were going to pick up the children from school and obviously go straight to their house with them because they were having them for the weekend so that was that so john is at work he then finishes work and he heads over to walmart and this is where he was seen on cctv doing his shopping well bits of shopping he ends up buying a massive bag of dog food some cat food some odd bits and bats and he's just walking around walmart on the cctv normally just doing his shopping so he then puts that in the car and then off he goes but then that's it nothing else is heard off of john but then a phone call was made to the police that they this person had found an abandoned truck and it turns out that that truck was actually john's truck it was 20 miles away from john's home and when they got there things were off straight away because the keys were still in the ignition the the windows and things were still were rolled down his cigarette was in there his the dog and cat food that he had purchased the day before was all still in there um i believe the only thing that wasn't in there was his wallet like his phone everything was in there and so obviously they look into that and wonder like why on earth is this car abandoned and the owner is nowhere to be seen so this is when they find the cctv and look into all that and then they end up going back to john's home john's just missing he's vanished nobody has a clue where he is the thing is though when they went back to the home um the door was like clothes locked or whatever they actually found some blood splatters on the front of his door so it, it's as if he did actually make it home that day but then maybe something violent happened to him outside of that house if you think maybe he was attacked i don't know punched or hit with something a bit further away from the door and it splatted onto the door they were only minute fragments and i mean tiny little bits to the point where when they actually took the samples but with the swab the entire sample vanished into that swab that's how small it was so i don't know whether that indicates like someone attacking somebody from quite far away and just a bit tiny little bit of blood splatter going on the back of the door I'm not entirely sure and the thing i don't get about this is there's not super tons of information on it i watched a video where the police were waiting on 
testing that DNA to see whether it was John's blood, but I don't can find any information whether they ever did find that out or not. Anyway, they went and spoke to obviously his ex partner who said that he seemed normal that day. You know, they she went and picked up the bags and then she had the kids, but that was it. You know, there was nothing strange about John that day. They looked into it some more and they also found this Facebook post that John had made. Now, basically, he had wrote on saying that he was getting a new bed the next day. The day that this bed was due to be delivered was the day that John was like missing. Um, and he never got a new bed. There was no, they couldn't find any information as to who was delivering this bed. So whether whomever was delivering this so-called bed was the person that did this to John, we have no idea. But he never got a bed and they never found out any information with regards to it. So it mustn't have been like a company, otherwise they would have had some records that they were making the delivery, that he was making the purchase. There was just nothing like that. So maybe it was a private sale and maybe something to to do with them it, it all went wrong for john i don't know they looked into his relationships and things and they did see that he had recently stopped seeing this girl but they were no longer seeing each other it hadn't worked out for some reason or another they looked into her i guess they didn't like her as a suspect in this either now there was also this photo that came up um i believe it i can't actually remember where it was I'm not sure whether it was, but it wasn't close to where John was anyway. It was of this homeless man living on the streets who, from the side, looked kind of like John. Um, somebody went over and talked to them, and this person said that he needed to go home. He needed to go home back to America. Was it Tex Mexico or something this person was in? I can't remember. Anyway, it doesn't really matter, does it? It just wasn't in America, I suppose. Um, and that this person's name was John. So they're thinking, well, maybe this is him. Maybe he's run away. Maybe he's, you know... He had a mental health breakdown or something. He ended up out there, got lost his memory, couldn't get home, whatever. It does happen. It, sadly, it does happen. But the family went and head and spoke to friends over there. They managed to get photos, closer photos and better photos of the face. And they realised that, in fact, it wasn't even John at all. It was somebody completely different. So that was that ruled out. Now, John did have a tribal tattoo on his neck and onto like his left arm he also had 1984 tattooed at the top of his chest he was about five foot nine and weighed about 190 pounds when he went missing he was wearing a black t-shirt tan work boots he had a cap on that had this d embroidered into it white d i think the cap was blue there is a reward out for information any information with regards to john but still, to this day, you know, it still remains unsolved. It's almost 10 years ago now. We're in 2023. This happened in 2014. And his boys have not had a father for all that time. They have no idea what happened to him. And they absolutely adored him. And he adored them. So that breaks my heart even more. The thing is here, there are obviously lots of theories. I'm not really going to get into them because, I don't know, people think what they want. Like, was it to do with the bed? Was it to do with he ran away? You know anything could happen it could be none of those um what i do want to say though is that the police are still looking into this they literally have somebody who's in there looking into it all of the time they have still a list of suspects that you still want to speak to one of them was his ex-partner as well now but she's never been a suspect in this case i'm not saying that she is and she's never been named as one you know but obviously they want to speak to her because as well the police looked into his phone records and up until pretty recent to before he went missing he was talking a lot to her and that wasn't normally the case when um i watched a video of crime watch daily i think it was they did a private interview with her and they asked her about this and she basically said that she didn't remember because it was two and a half years ago at that point but a lot of those would have been the boys wanting to speak to her because the police were saying like there was a lot of phone calls and they were going up in sort of lengths like 15 20 minutes 30 40 some of them were almost an hour long quite a few of them were almost an hour long and that was just not normal for them to be talking like that but obviously maybe something went wrong in any of their lives and they just wanted to chat to each other about it or maybe it was the fact that the kids wanted to speak to their mum and that's why these calls were so long who knows because obviously they're going to do that um she's going to want to speak to her kids they're going to want to speak to the mum 
there is question as to whether she had something to do with it i'm not saying she did but she basically says like why on earth would i do that i wouldn't want to take my father's the father of my kids away um okay she didn't have custody of them and she had to pay child support but she's like what why on earth would i do something like that just for them reasons alone but like i said she's not suspecting the case anyway but they do want to speak to her again they have a whole host of people that they also want to speak to but as of yet no one knows what happened to john he went out shopping for his dog food and was last seen alive live on the cctv in the store got home and then vanished it seemed as well like people wanted to make it look like he hadn't got home because this truck was found 20 miles away from his house but then there's blood splatter on the door so did he get home he was attacked there they buried his body in around his home which bearing in mind where he lived it would be quite easy to get rid of a body yes okay they searched extensively but you know it's so massive that it can be easily done basically if you don't know what to look for or whatever um so yeah maybe that's what happened maybe they got rid of his body and then took the truck drove it out to god knows where got a lift with somebody else maybe there was a few people involved got a lift off somebody else from that truck to get out of there leave the truck there so it seems like whatever happened happened around that area rather than anywhere else they didn't really think that it was a robbery because yes okay his wallet was gone but if they were at his home why didn't they take anything else like they had ample opportunity to take anything else but nothing was taken so it's just weird this case is very strange but that's it that's all we know so yeah if you get anybody out there has any information whatsoever on john's case please come forward because everyone wants to know and he deserves justice for whatever happened to him his family deserve the peace of mind to know who did this what happened to him if he's here or no longer here i mean i think everyone assumes that probably he's no longer here sadly but you know you just don't know until you have confirmation so yeah that's the end of the case if you guys have enjoyed the video give me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel for some more content anyway that's all i have today on the case of john terry thank you so much for watching and until next time bye